to discuss a particular topic under health. Okay po? So, in previous topic, we've talked about arts. Okay? So, by this time, we're going to talk about health naman. Okay? So, before that, let me present first uh, the presentation. So, ano ba yung magiging topic natin as of this time? Okay? So, since we are going to talk about health and uh, by this time, we are... Uh, suffering from what do you call this COVID-19. So lumolobo naman yung ano, yung yung data, okay, ng mga active cases ng COVID-19. So anyway, uh, since we are talking about diseases, okay, we are experiencing COVID-19 pandemic. So yan, uh, I hope you can relate from our topic today because we are going to talk about diseases as of now. Okay pa? So, uh, diseases class can be classified into two. So we have communicable diseases, which means a disease that can be transferred from one person to another and non-communicable diseases okay so non-communicable diseases from from the word implies okay so non-communicable meaning it can be passed from one person to another just by touching or something non-communicable diseases are somewhat inherited from from your uh, ancestry okay po meaning uh, if your father possesses this kind of diseases there is more chance that you will have that too. Okay, pa? So, let's proceed with the presentation. Communicable diseases are diseases that are not passed. Okay? Let me emphasize to you that are not passed from one person to another. Okay? So, these are non-infectious. Okay? So, same term lang naman. Cannot be passed from one person to another. That may be hereditary or a result of lifestyle factors hereditary meaning if you are diabetic uh, if if your parents are diabetic you will probably have a diabetes too okay po so hereditary meaning namamana from parent to dot daughter or son okay um, another problem is lifestyle factor so by this time uh, when we speak of lifestyle factor it's environment okay the, for example, you are living in a dirty area, okay, like like squatter or like a uh, dump site. So you will probably acquire this uh, some of the non-communicable diseases like asthma and etc. Okay, so to give you some uh, information, according to the World Health Organization, it's about 38 million people die each year due to non-communicable diseases. So later on we'll know what are the some uh, what are some of the communicable non-communicable diseases, okay? So remember ha, even if it's not communicable disease, okay? Uh, it poses threat to human to mankind because according to you, so yeah, 38 million people die each year. Okay, so ano yung, what do we need to observe under this topic? So we need to observe first our lifestyle. Next, we need to determine what are the diseases present in our family. Okay, if you are in your family, you are diabetic. May diabetes ba si Lola, si Lolo, si Mama, si Papa? Or hypertensive? Okay, so nagka mild stroke na ba si mama, na stroke na ba si lola, something like that. So you need to observe um, some, uh, what do you call this, some of those diseases or some of those, what do you call this, disorders present in your, in the line of your family. Okay, so by that means, you, uh, you, you will be aware na ito, kailangan kong iwasan yung mga matataba kasi high blood yung pamilya namin, something like that. So you need to observe, okay po? So even, the, even though na bata pa kayo as of now, you need to observe, you need to be aware of those uh, health problems present in your family. Okay, let's continue. These are some of the non-communicable diseases so let me list that number one diabetes so yan that's number one problem so sino dito yung mga diabetic may diabetes yung lola lolo uh, mother father 
Okay, so yan. If you will be diabetic, yung mga symptoms niyan, uh, maagang lumalabo ang mata, to extent na napuputulan ng paa, mga extremities. So yan, mga diabetic. Okay? So, next, asthma. Sino ba yung mga asthmatic dito? Okay? So if you are asthmatic, probably you will uh, you inherited that to your um uh, mother or father or lola or lolo okay um, asthmatic okay po so next allergies are also non-communicable yet heritable okay so for example uh, allergic ka sa mga medication something like this okay not only to my medication also for food kasi yung allergy um a very very common siya sa food okay so sa mga maalat like balaw like uh, what do you call this mga malalangsa okay sardina something like that mga allergic okay so next we have cancer cancer is also non communicable but also heritable like for example breast cancer okay so if in your in the line of your family uh, there are presence of uh, breast cancer so yeah so chances are uh, you will also uh, inherit that kind of, of problem. Okay, next, cardiovascular diseases. Okay, so it focuses, uh, cardiovascular diseases are for heart and your blood vessels. So, uh, under this category, uh, kasama na siya yung uh, hypertension din. Okay, may sakit sa puso, so that's also hereditary. Okay, so arthritis. Okay, yung uh, pamamaga ng mga kasukasuan, ng mga paa, mga buto-buto. So, yeah, it's also uh, one hereditable, non-communicable diseases. Okay, arthritis. So, so common siya sa mga paa, sa mga tuhod, sa mga uh, kamay, mga daliri. So, arthritis. Also, uh, renal failure is there. Uh, anyone in your family that uh, that is currently undergoing, for example, dialysis because of renal failure, nag uh, nagkaroon na ng kidney transplant. Okay, so yeah, so those are uh, just some. Okay, some co uh, but common non-communicable diseases. I hope you also. I, I will not ask you of anyone. Uh, kung sino yung mga meron nito sa pamilya but you also observe okay pa you observe kung ano yung mga problems or common uh, diseases in your family okay so that you will be also aware okay so yan next okay for non communicable diseases so number 1 allergy so we need to talk about allergy okay so when we speak class of allergy it's a condition where in the immune system becomes hypersensitive. Okay? When we speak of hypersensitive, sobra na yung pagka-sensitive or the reaction of your body towards a particular um, particular allergen is over. Parang kumbaga sa tao, overreacting. Okay? So that's hypersensitive me. Okay? To something in, a, in the environment such as dust, Okay? So, ayaw man lang mahangi. Um, yung balat mo, uh, very sensitive sa dust. Ayaw man lang mahanginan ng may mga dust, something like that. Also, mites. Okay? Yung mga mites sa higaan. Okay? Molds. Molds are fungi. So, there are people who are sensitive to this as well. And many allergens. Okay? Uh, like, uh, what do you call this in a food? in medication, in something that I've uh, provided you. Okay, pa? So, um, in allergy, how your body reacts is you can observe. Okay? What are the, I know, what are the common observation in, that you are having allergy? Number one, uh, namumula yung balat mo. Namumula. Either namumula or nangangate. Kung hindi man nangangate, namamaga. Okay? So, I have this uncle na, um, ano, nag-ano lang siya yung sa buhok baga, yung, 
um, kulay sa buhok din na baga na maga yung muka yung muka niya yung whole scalp niya yung muka niya na baga because allergic siya pagdating doon okay so there these are just ano um what do you call this uh these are just uh, symptoms that you can observe that you are having allergy okay but even though that's allergy hangga ay ano nila makate lang yan hindi kumain lang ako naman kasi makate uh, there are allergies that to some extent uh, it can be deadly deadly in a way na yung uh, ano mo yung blood vessels mo nagko-constrict okay hindi makakaroon ng tamang blood flow so, yan. Very dangerous din siya yung allergy. Okay po? So, that um, when a particular doctor wants to prescribe um, a medication for your particular, for example, disease or problem, um, tinatanong ka kung ano yung mga allergies present in you. Okay? So, that um, hindi siya maka-affect sa kanyang prescription. Okay? So, I hope you're getting what I mean with this one. Okay? So next we have asthma. Okay? Very common siya in an environment that is um uh, air polluted. Okay? Kasi kapag uh, yung air is polluted, so yan that triggers your uh, asthma. Okay? It's a chronic lung disease uh, in which the passageways, ano ba yung passageways ng ng hangin natin? Okay? It's the trachea, bronchi, um, ano pa ba? Okay, so trachea, uh, upper and lower um, respiratory tract. Okay po? So that allow air to enter the and leave the lungs that are inflamed. When we speak of inflamed, parang ano siya, namamaga. Okay, and become narrow. So kapag namaga, yung bron uh, bronchus mo, for example, one of your bronchus is um, inflamed. Tendency is the the air passage or the passage way of air is that it becomes narrow okay so ibig sabihin uh, kapag narrow yung papasukan ng hangin mo so the tendency is maghahabol ka ng hininga kasi konti lang yung nakakapasok or lumalabas na hangin out of your lungs <gasps> something like that okay maghahabol ka ng hininga anyway hindi ko kasi siya na experience pa kasi hindi naman ako asthmatic okay pa pero for those who are asthmatic so, ganyan. Okay? So, pinapasikip niya yung um, passageway ng air to the extent na maghahabol kayo ng hininga. Mahihirapan kayong maghinga. Okay pa? So, this condition can make breathing difficult. So, this, uh, I said it already. Okay? So, there are also some ano, um, ways to relieve asthmatic uh, condition. Something like this, merong inhaler, uh, some uses nebulizer, uh, yan. So, those are some, okay? Aside from the medications they take in um, regularly. For example, malala yung kanilang asthma. Okay po? So, yan. So, if you are asthmatic, so, you avoid environment that are air polluted. Yung madaming dust, Okay, hindi, hindi, ano, hindi suitable for, for breathing. Okay po? So, this one suggestion coming from me. Okay po? So, next, we have cardiovascular diseases. Ito, very nakakatakot to because in just one attack, you can be, uh, <laughs> you'll die. Okay po? So, a disease of heart and blood vessels. Remember that heart pumps blood to different ano uh, to different parts of our body and that is needed because it carries blood carries oxygen blood carries nutrients and through the blood vessels para siya yung pipe uh, kumbaga sa water station water station is uh, is the uh, is the heart and yung mga pipe papunta sa bahay nyo and, and that's the blood vessels if one of the blood vessels failed Okay? So, that means the tendency of that, the blood or the nutrients or the oxygen necessary for that particular house, for example, sa bahay nyo, yung tubo na sira or naputol or nagburst. So, the tendency is, wala kayong supply. Okay? Wala kayong supply ng nutrients. And this could uh, result to a deadly um, scenario. Okay? So, this may include 
coronary heart disease. Okay po, coronary heart disease and other. There are many heart diseases like heart, um, yan, ito na nga ang coronary heart disease, enlargement of the heart, weakness of the valve of the heart. Okay, so yan. So, um, yan, uh, stroke, okay, as a result of, yan, um, heart diseases or heart attack. Okay, pa? So, we'll not go into detail about the different um, kinds of cardiovascular diseases because uh, that's over our topic. Okay, pa? So, next, after cardiovascular diseases, okay, so we have under that, okay? So, under that, we have uh, arteriosclerosis. Okay, uh, can you pronounce that one over your mouth? Arteriosclerosis. Arteriosclerosis. Okay pa? So, what that means is, um, it's the hardening and thickening of the artery wall. Remember, class, that blood vessels are categorized into, into three distinct parts. So, we have veins, we have arteries. Okay? And we have capillaries. So, let's focus first on the arteries because arteries uh, is the focus of this one. Arteries uh, are blood vessels that carries blood from the heart towards your body. So, this one, uh, arteries are, are, what do you call this, are blood vessels that are subject to extreme pressure. Why extreme pressure? Because the blood that uh, that that receive uh, that is receiving by the arteries directly comes from your heart okay yan yung kapag yung artery mo halimbawa nagano ka anong tawag dito naglaslas pero wag naman sana halimbawa nalaslas yung ano artery mo sa may daliri or sa may kamay mo sa wrist uh, nalaslas mo siya uh, you will notice na kapag sumisirit yung dugo out of your out of your skin okay or your ano your uh, body yan yung ang ibig sabihin niyan kapag sumisirit yung dugo arteries yung uh, na target mong dugo and that's very deadly because um, the blood comes directly from your heart pero kapag hindi siya sumisirit tumutulo lang hindi mabilis yung pag uh, outflow ng blood so that's gonna be uh, your vein because vein um, carries your blood from parts of your body uh, going back to your heart. Okay po? Kasi baga, ang pumping station natin is the heart. Okay po? So, yan. Nakakita na ba kayo yan in a movie na kapag, uh, for example, in an accident, naputol yung, yung paa, sumisirit yung dugo. Okay? Para, sa, para siyang shower shower of blood, something like that. Okay? So, in arteriosclerosis, it's the hardening and thickening of artery wall. Okay? Tumitigas, nagiging stiff yung artery wall, yung loob ng artery mo. Okay? Um, and kumakapal. Okay? So, the tendency of this is that uh, the blood flow will be hampered. Okay? The blood flow will be hampered. Okay? The tendency is, uh, one possible thing uh, that could occur out of this one, arteriosclerosis, is that uh, you will become hypertensive. Okay? Uh, possible na pumutok yung ugat mo. Okay? And magkaroon ka ng uh, breakdown. Okay pa? So, the second thing is atheros, uh, atheroclerosis. Okay? Remember the difference sa uh, arterio, arteries, atherosclerosis. It's the narrowing of the artery due to the deposit and build up of fats. So, yung kanina, uh, it's more of a structural problem because it's hardening and thickening of the artery wall. Ito naman, merong factor involving in the narrowing of the artery. It's because of the deposited fats. Okay? Build up of fats, cholesterol, and other substances on the arterial, uh, arterial wall. Kumbaga, kumbaga sa kanal, nababara siya. Okay? Nababara yung kanyang walls. Okay? And, and if this happens, um, yun. Uh, same 
the same problem. Magkakaroon ka, uh, yung blood flow will not be, uh, will be hampered. Okay po. So, this deposit could harden and create a plaque. Alam nyo ba yung plaque? Pag sinabing plaque, yan yung mga sangipin na kapag yung tartar mo hindi natanggal throughout the time, tumitigas siya. Okay? So, yun yung ibig sabihin ng plaque. Okay po? So, yan. So, that's atero. Difference of arterio inflammation, narrowing, and atero, inflammation and narrowing due to deposits. Okay? Fat deposits and cholesterol deposits. Okay po? So, I hope you got the difference between the two. Okay? So, another uh, coronary heart disease may result to number one, the very dangerous we have heart attack. It's the death of the heart muscle due to lack of blood flow to the heart. Okay? So, kapag hindi sufficient yung blood flow sa heart, so, magkakaroon ka ng heart attack because, um, yan. So, uh, heart is the main or organ of of blood. Okay pa? So, yan. So, second thing, we have ang angina pectoris. Okay? It's the chest pain resulting from narrowed coronary arteries. Yung coronary arteries, these are arteries of the blood. Okay? So, it supplies blood to the heart itself. Okay pa? So, kapag ang tinarget niya yung arteries from your uh, heart towards your heart, Okay? To make it functional, yun. It, it, it could result to a uh, heart, heart death. Okay po? Due to in the inadequacy or, um, uh, of oxygen that gets to the heart. Without oxygen then, heart, uh, you could have a heart failure. Okay po? So next, stroke. I said it already. It occurs when blood vessels in the brain burst or block. Burst. Pag sinabing burst, pum, um, sumabog or pumutok and nablock, nabara. Okay? Ito yung in, some, in most cases, half of your body uh, will be considered dead already because hindi mo na siya makontrol of, uh, cannot be controlled of your brain. Okay? So, yun yung mga stroke patient. Okay? Naninigas na yung mga daliri sa kaliwa. Okay po? Hindi na makalakad ng maayos. Um, hindi na nakakapagsalita ng maayos okay uh, natitiwi <laughs> natitiwi okay so those are uh, symptoms um, and effects of stroke okay pa so next okay ways of reducing risk of cardiovascular diseases okay so number one okay so maintain a healthy body how we how are you going to maintain a healthy body Shempre, healthy diet proper exercise and proper routine. Okay? So ano yung routine na yon? Tamang pagtulog, okay? Uh, tamang exercise something like that. Number 2, avoid smoking and secondhand smoke. Okay? Uh, it's always linked smoking is always linked to uh, cardiovascular diseases. Okay pa? Yung secondhand smoke it's uh, the smoke that you inhaled out from the smoke uh, of another person. Halimbawa, katabi mo, kasama mo sa bahay, palaging nagsisigarilyo, okay? The tendency is, yung uh, usok na aamoy mo, that's a secondhand smoke. Okay po? So, and they said that secondhand smoke is dangerous than ano, uh, smoking itself. Okay po? So, maintain a high, healthy blood pressure. How are you going to maintain a healthy blood pressure uh, you take regular BP or blood pressure okay po and you don't uh, you don't eat food na nagti-trigger sa high blood pressure for example mga maaalat mga matataba okay so yun so those are a ways to maintain high, healthy blood pressure next maintain a normal body weight okay so if you are obese as of now, uh, you do some exercise starting today because um, there is high risk of having uh, cardiovascular diseases for those who are um, heavy, for those who are obese. Why? Because uh, there is excess fats in your body that could clog uh, 
that could clog your blood vessels and that's atherosclerosis okay pa so make sure class that ano uh, you maintain normal body weight how how are you going to maintain your no normal body weight exercise proper diet and uh ano i monitor niyo yung ano niyo uh, yung weight niyo kung kayo ba lumalagpas na sa normal BMI or hindi okay pa so next participate in regular activities or physical activities like zumba like jogging just for example 20 minutes a day you jog and yeah so that's a regular physical activities in that way yung mga fats mo na you use okay yung mga stored fats in your uh, in your body na gagamit siya kasi kapag in-store mo lang siya na in-store the dami at nang dami tendency is magkakaroon ka ng cholesterol build up, build up. Okay pa? So, yan. Exercise para magamit. Kung baga, huwag nyo i-stack yung mga ano nyo. I-stack yung mga gas nyo sa katawan. So, use that up. Okay po? Burn fats. Ika nga. Okay po? So, those are some ways. So, next, cancer. Okay, eto. Mahirap to. Mga yung sinasabi nilang pang mayamang sakit. Okay, so... Uh, when we speak of cancer, it's a group of diseases in which cells divide in an uncontrolled pace. Uh, pag sinabing uncontrolled space, dumadami yung mga bad cells. Okay? Abnormally dividing cells can form, number one, two more. Meron kang two more. Ito yung mga lumps sa katawan mo na hindi naman talaga normal. An abnormal growth of tissue, which can be benign. Pag sinabing benign, Um, safe siya in a way na safe in a way na hindi siya malignant pag sinabing malignant kasi these are dangerous kind of tumor okay po so pag benign hindi na siya dumadami para uh, present lang siya hindi siya dangerous to your health not that dangerous even though that's dangerous as well pero not that as compared to the malignant ones malignants are along your lifestyle along your Um, age uh, palala ng palala siya that's malignant tumor okay ba? so or malignant cancer so when you speak ah ito pala sorry so when you speak of benign it's not cancerous tumors is not cancerous uh, tumor may increase in size but do not infect other body parts hindi siya nagkakaroon ng metastasis when you speak of metastasis that's uh, these tumor cells can be transferred to different parts of your body through, uh, through your blood and once it's settled to one part of your body it will grow into another two more okay so yan since it's a blood uh, vector yung yung cancer cells yan it could ano it could uh, spread throughout your body until you you die okay pa? so increase in size but do not infect other body parts Uh, for example, yung mga benign, ano, benign tumor, they are just locally uh, positioned in a particular part of your body. So, they are typically harmless unless they are in a position where they block normal tissues or organ. For example, binablock niya yung particular blood vessels, uh, iniipit niya yung blood vessel na very important for your, for example, kidney uh, processes. Okay, so nagiging ano na siya, nagiging harmful na yung benign tumor. Okay po? So for malignant, it's cancerous. Pag sinabing cancerous, it's capable of spreading cancer cells and growing out many of its kind. Okay po? Tumor can spread infection and destruction of nearby tissues and other body parts. This process is called metastasis. So ito na yung sinabi ko kanina. Okay po? So let's continue. So, these are the major categories of cancers. Okay po, number one, we have carcinoma. Narinig nyo na ba yung word na carcinoma? So, carcinoma is the most common form of cancer. It's a malignant tumor that develops from epithelial tissue and tends to spread to other areas of the body. Okay? So, carcinoma ang tawag. Cancer of the skin, cancer of the breast, cancer of the uterus, For, for female, uh, cancer of the prostate for male, cancer of the lung, cancer of the stomach, colon, rectum. Uh, these are examples of carcinoma. 
Okay? So, yan. Skin cancer. Very, you can observe naman kung sino yung mga may skin cancer. Breast cancer. Yung mga may lumps sa, sa breast. Uh, sometimes, nagkakaroon ng physical check-up na kapag napansin mo na may lump yung breast mo, so, pa-check up ka na sa doktor because uh, hindi natin alam kung yan ay breast cancer. Okay? Sometimes, you assess also yourself. Uh, kapain nyo kung meron kayong mga lumps or bukol uh, in your parts of your body and kapag may na-observe kayo, sabihin nyo sa parent nyo na magpa-consult kayo sa doktor. Malay natin, uh, as of this time, uh, benign pa siya pero uh, habang tumatanda kayo, nagiging malignan na siya. Okay pa? So, yan. So, next, sarcomas. Sarcomas are cancers that deny, uh, begin in the connective or supportive tissues which develop in the muscle, bone, fat, blood vessels, and cartilage. Okay? So, remember, ah, yung kanina, mga organs, carcinomas. Okay? For organs. Okay? So, for sarcomas, these are for tissues like muscle, bone, fat, blood vessels, and cartilages. Okay pa? So, those are sarcomas. Okay pa? So, next, lymphomas are car cancers arising in cells of lymphatic tissues or the immune system tissue. Diba? Yung lymphatic system natin, we have immune system. Uh, we have many kinds of cells under these systems. Okay? Like red blood cells, white blood cells. Okay? So, yeah. So, these are characterized by abnormal production of white cells or WBC, white blood cells, and decrease in resistance. Kasi remember class that white blood cells, uh, in your elementary years, you call that as soldier blood of the body. Okay? It fights off infectious, uh, infectious, uh, pati ako. infectious diseases. Okay pa? So, yan. So, those are lymphomas, cancer of the lymphatic cells. Okay pa? So, next, leukemia. Okay, so leukemia. Alam nyo ba yung leukemia? It's the cancer of the blood or bone marrow. Kasi yung bone marrow, it's where blood is produced. Okay po? It's characterized by an abnormal production of blood cells, usually leukocytes. Leukocytes is a synonym of white blood cells. Okay? Um, abnormal production. When we speak of abnormal, it can either be kulang, sobra, or uncontrolled production. Okay po? Leukemia. Okay? Cancer of the blood. Okay. So, these are some ways to treat cancer. Very common radiation therapy. Okay? So, ito yung nakakalbo yung, uh, yung tao kasi it affects uh, good cells. Okay po? Tinitira niya yung mga negative cells, cancer cells, pero it also, in some extent, apektado din yung mga good cells. So, uses high energy radiation to kill or damage cancer cells. So, next, chemotherapy. So, uses anti-cancer drugs. Mga gamot to, ah, that kill cancer inside the body. Anti-cancer drugs target mainly cancer cells, although they may harm healthy cells as well. Okay po? So, yan. Chemotherapy, radiation therapy. Kasi radiation, it uses radiation. Chemotherapy, it uses chemicals. Next, immunotherapy. It's the treatment where the immune system is stimulated to fight cancer cells. So, yan. So, uh, ini-stimulate yung ating sariling immune system cells para siya yung mag-counteract uh, counter or mag-fight off doon sa cancer cells. Okay pa? So, one, two, three, some ways. So, how can you reduce the risk of cancer? So, meron tayo ditong acronym. Acronym, uh, this acronym is CAUTION. Okay? So, so number one, uh, 4C, this comes from American Cancer Society. Change in bowel or bladder habits. Okay po. So, change in bowel or bladder habits. Ano yung ibig sabihin dito? Uh, wag dapat kayo nagpipigil ng ihi. Okay? Uh, kapag once na ma-feel yung maihi, umihi kayo agad. Okay? And have a regular 
Powell, meaning tatay kayo on a regular basis. Okay po? So, yan. So, A, a sore that does not heal. Okay? So, so yan. So, kapag may uh, sore kayo, sugat kayo na hindi nagagamot, so yan. So, that's good probably a one problem or symptom of having a cancer. Okay? So, alimbawa, sa change in bowel or bladder habits, hindi na kayo nahihihi, uh, hindi regular yung paghihi nyo, umihi kayo masakit, Okay, so yan. So, hindi kayo makatain ng maayos. Uh, most of the time, you are constipated. Some of the time, you are... Um, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Nagkakaroon ka ng diarrhea. So, yan. So, change in bowel or bladder habits. Next, unusual bleeding or discharge. Nagkakaroon ka class na for babae. Hindi na regular yung menstruation. Okay? So, pag umihe, may kasamang dugo. Pag tumae, may kasamang dugo. Nagkakaroon ka na ng hemorrhage, meaning bleeding inside your body. Okay, 40, thickening or lump in breast or elsewhere. May, ano, kaya kayo, sometimes, kapain nyo din yung, yung body nyo or parts of your body kung merong lumps. Okay, kapain nyo yung, yung breast, other parts of your body, para you will assess, uh, you yourself can assess you, uh, you can assess yourself for this kind of symptoms. Okay pa? So next, um, indigestion or difficulty in swallowing. Okay? Uh, when we speak of indigestion, uh, there is no regular bowel movement in your body. Okay pa? So your, uh, your food becomes stagnant. So sometimes, sabi ko nga, sometimes you are... Uh, you experience diarrhea, sometimes you are constipated or um, yung dyspepsia. Okay pa? So, yan. So, O, obvious change in a wart or mole. Okay? Alam niyo yung wart? Yan yung ano, uh, parang kulugo. Okay? So, or mole, uh, halimbawa, yung kulugo mo biglang dumami or lumalaki or uncontrollable and also mole kapag yung mole mo or yung mga um, especially yung mga strawberry like mole yung mga um, nakaprotrude dyan sa skin nyo kapag biglang lumalaki hindi mo makontrol yung paglaki and that's uh, one symptom or sign of having a cancer okay so next naging cough or hoarseness naging cough or hoarseness ubo okay Yung pagiging shh ng ano mo, ng bosses May heasiness, may hoarseness. Okay po? So, yan. Remember, caution class. Okay po? So, let's continue. What are the things that you can do? Okay, so... Have regular check-ups with, with a doctor. Okay po? Kasi hindi yung check-up sa... Sa albularyo ha, kasi iba naman yung check-up sa albularyo. Uh, iba naman yung check-up sa mga, alam mo na, yung mga doktor kwak-kwak. Okay po? So make sure na dun kayo sa mismong doktor. Bakit? Kasi yung mga doktor, nag-aral yan ng, uh, I think, 10 years para lang pag-aralan yung mga sakit na ganyan. Kaya, uh, consult with a doctor. Okay? Professional doctor. Okay po? Avoid smoking and secondhand smoke. Ito na yung sinasabi ko. Bata pa lang kayo, never try to taste uh, cigarette. Okay, never try. Kasi kapag na-try nyo, you might not know kung ito, maahalik ba to or hindi. Okay, so yan. Avoid too much sun exposure. Alam ko, takot naman kayo sa init. <laughs> Kaya hindi nyo naman to ginagawa. But if hindi nyo may iwasan, uh, mag-expose sa sun, so gamit kayo ng mga protecting um, equipments like long sleeve uh, shirt, gamit kayo ng mataas na SPF na sunblock, okay? gamit kayo ng payong, gamit kayo ng cup, etc. that you, you avoid yourself from too much sun exposure. Next, eat fruits and vegetables. Okay, yung mga ascorbic, uh, yung mga vitamin C, rich in vitamin C, okay, so na mga fruits, okay, vegetables din, okay. Observe the meat that you eat, kung ito ba healthy, 
Kung ito ba hindi siya contaminated ng bacteria or diseases. Ito ba fresh from slaughterhouse. Hindi yung kinatay lang kung saan saan. Okay? Ito ba nag-undergo siya ng proper monitoring from... Uh, from yun sa Eslotter House nga siya okay exercise and have right weight yan kapag sumusobra na yung bigat more exercise bawas ng timbang kapag kulang yung bigat more nutritious food dagdag ang timbang okay po to make it balance okay po so next be aware of family's history of cancer okay tanungin niyo yung mga mother niyo it's not It's not ano naman eh. It's not bawal naman na tanungin. So, mama, may, may cancer ba tayo sa family natin? Sa, sa father side, sa mother side, kung may cancer ba sila? Kasi it's always connected. You, we will always be connected to our ancestors. Okay po? So, avoid drinking alcohol. Okay po? Especially if it's too much na. Okay po? Avoid being exposed to dangerous chemicals. And airborne uh, fibers. So, ito hindi naman kayo masyadong uh, ano dito, uh, exposed. Okay? So, next, diabetes or some um, medically called as diabetes mellitus. Okay po? So, a disease in which the body produces little or no insulin. Okay? Kasi, ang insulin kasi siya yung nagbe-breakdown ng sugar molecule sa blood natin. Or, cannot properly... Uh, uh, cannot properly maintain the insulin that it produces. Okay po? So, that's diabetes mellitus. Okay? So, it's very, ano, it's very, uh, very dangerous ang diabetes kasi hindi na siya nagbe-break down uh, ng sugar molecules. Okay? So, Yan. So it it um the insulin kasi uh, insulin controls the sugar levels in your blood. Okay? So kapag mataas yung sugar level sa blood mo, hindi siya tama mag-release siya ng insulin. Okay? So kapag kulang naman yung sugar level mo sa blood, so the other way the liver releases glycogen to supply you with the um stored sugar in your blood. Okay po? So yan. So that's for diabetes. Okay, so we have uh, different types of diabetes. Number one, type 1 diabetes occurs when the body does not produce or make insulin. Okay? So, hereditary siya. Hindi talaga yung katawan mo, yung pancreas mo, hindi nag-produce ng uh, insulin. Type 2 diabetes occurs when the body cannot properly use the insulin it produces. Nagpo-produce nga siya, pero hindi nagagamit. Uh, um, not functional yung insulin. Okay? So, next, uh, gestational diabetes occurs temporarily during uh, pregnancy. Nagkakaroon na ng diabetic uh, during pregnancy. Uh, you call that as gestational. Hindi naman siya masyadong ano. Pero, uh, we need observation from this. Okay? So, how can you reduce the risk of diabetes? Number one, get more physical activities. You exercise daily. Include fiber and whole grains in your diet. Lose the extra weight. Make healthier food choices. Very common lang naman yung mga ano, ways. Pero hindi lang natin follow. Next, arthritis. A painful inflammation of joints that affects the muscles. Tendons, ligaments, okay, surrounding the joints. So, that's arthritis. Namamaga yung mga kasukasuan, yung mga joints. Uh, joints is, uh, joints connect uh, one bone to the other bone. Okay po? So, yan. So, yung sa siko, sa tuhod, sa mga daliri, okay? So, if you have arthritis, uh, masakit na napamamaga ng mga joints. Okay, so two types of arthritis. Number one, osteoarthritis. Normally affects the hips, ito, sa balakang nyo, knees, sa tuhod, enhanced with pain, stiffness, or inflammation. Rheumatoid arthritis frequently appears on hands, sa kamay, may rheuma ka na, wrist and feet, and can also affect other body parts 
other than joints. Okay, may rayuma, rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, next we have renal failure, also known as kidney failure, a condition where the kidney stops to function, function properly, causing renal insufficiency. Sa kidney po, yan. Okay po? So, if one of that uh, malfunctions, buti kung meron ka pang isa, paano kung yung dalawa nag-malfunction? So, even though you, you are safe with one uh, kidney, hindi mo alam. Kasi, um, what do you call this? Yung work ng two kidneys, sinalo ng isang kidney. Okay? So, mahihirapan yung isang kidney mo. So, you will be um, immunocompromised with this one. Okay pa? So, okay. So, that's kidney failure. Okay? So, symptoms of kidney failure, changes in urination. Hindi ka na madalas umihi or sometimes madalas kang umihi. Masakit pa yung pag-ihi mo. So, swelling in legs, ankles, feet, face, or hands. Swelling. Namamanas yung paa. Okay. Meaning, mataas na yung uric acid. Ankles, feet, face, and hands. Okay. Extreme skin rashes and itching. Okay. So, that's one symptom. Nausea and vomiting. Feeling mo palagi kang masusuka. Shortness of breath, feeling cold, dizziness, and concentration problems. Okay po? So, those are symptoms. Ways to diagnose kidney failure. Even though uh, you need to consult the doctor with this one, you will undergo some laboratories like urinalysis. You will, your, your urine will be uh, examined. Urine measurements blood samples, imaging, and kidney tissue samples. Okay po? So, yan. MRI, CT scan. Um, yun. So, those are some diagnoses. Okay? So, how to prevent manage uh, kidney failure? Avoiding or limiting intake of, intake of toxic substances. Ano yung mga toxic? Junk foods. Okay, so those are toxic substances. Uh, soft drinks. Okay. So, yun. Mga unhealthy diet. Okay, so inom ka ng inom ng gamot. Out of prescription. So, yan. Hindi ka pa umiinom ng tubig, ng maraming tubig to replenish your kidney. Uh, second one, proper diet, exercise, and medication. Third, dialysis and kidney transplant. Ito na yung pinaka-extend. Kapag nag-dialysis ka na, uh, bilang na lang ang uh, araw mo sa buhay. Kapag nagkaroon ka na ng kidney transplant, ito okay-okay ito kaysa sa dialysis. Ang dialysis kasi talagang, yun, kapag nag-undergo ka na ng dialysis, talagang, uh, yun, bilang ng buhay mo. Even though na mayroon namang tumatagal, pero, yan, magiging prone ka na sa mga, tsaka yung gastos din. Mas mahal nga lang yung kidney transplant kasi you will need a donor from this. Okay pa? Okay, so thanks. Okay, thank you for for listening into my class. I hope you learned something from our discussion today. Okay? So